Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Pixel Watch Button Remapper. If you previously had a Wear OS 2 watch, you'll know that hardware buttons could be assigned to various apps. That's not the case with the Pixel Watch. The hardware buttons have dedicated functions that can't normally be changed. A single press of the top button opens the Recents menu. A long press opens Google Assistant. And a double press of the center button opens Google Wallet. Today I'm going to show you how to change the function of those buttons using Pixel Watch Button Remapper. The app isn't on the Play Store because it uses accessibility features. So we're going to grab it from my Freepop website and install it to the watch using Wear Installer 2. So let me bring in my phone, open Chrome. Here we're at the Freepop downloads page. Uh, you can grab Wear Installer 2 from here, uh, which we'll be using in a minute. But here is a Pixel Watch Button Remapper. Let's just tap on that. We get a message to say that the file has been downloaded. So let's just go to the watch. And we'll need to enable developer settings, uh, which I've already done on this watch. If you're not aware how to do that, just, uh, just Google it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, and I recommend that you connect your watch to a charger for this process. Turn on Stay Awake while charging. Let's go down, uh, turn on, turn on ADB debugging. And turn on wireless debugging. Now, let me bring in my phone and open Wear Installer 2. If you haven't used Wear Installer 2 before, there's some uh, detailed notes on how everything works and a, uh, and a video if you want to watch it. Uh, but we're going to step through the process here. And the first thing is to enter the IP address of the watch on Wear Installer 2's home screen. So you can see that the IP address is, in this case, 192.168.1.5. So let me just put the correct IP address in. And now we're going to need to pair the watch um, with the phone over ADB. So pair new device. And on in Wear Install 2, <clears throat> pair with watch. Some more explanation here, which you can read at your leisure, but let's just tap Enable. And you'll see that it's asking for a pairing code and a pairing port. So the pairing code on the watch, 604410, 604410, and then a space. And the Pairing port is shown after the IP address, in this case 45467, 45467. Uh, your numbers will, uh, of course, be different from this. Press done. I get a message attempting to pair and then successfully paired. So back in where Installer 2's home screen, you'll see there's a new box after the IP address. And that's for the port that's shown here. And this is different from the port we used a moment ago while we were setting up the pairing. So in this case, it's 42153. We'll enter that. 42153. And now we'll go to Custom APK. And we can see uh, this is a list of all the APKs in our downloads folder. Uh, Pixel Watch Button Remapper underscore where. Uh, we just downloaded that a moment ago. So let me tap on that. I get a message to say the APK file is for Wear OS. And then install. Sending the APK file to the watch. This should just take a few seconds. And then success APK installed on watch. 
So we can tap finish and we get a reminder to turn off ADB debugging on the watch. That's important to do just to save battery. So turn off wireless debugging, turn off ADB debugging, and you can turn off stay awake while charging as well. Uh, but for this demonstration, I'll just, uh, just leave it uh, turned on. Now, if we look at the list of installed apps, Pixel Watch Button Remapper, let's tap on that. And there's some explanation of uh, how everything works, which uh, you can read at your leisure. I'm going to step through it fairly quickly for this, for this demonstration. But the first thing is we're going to need to give accessibility permission to the app. So if I press done, it takes me to accessibility. We only need to do this once. Pixel watch button remapper, turn it on. Enable. And now just right swipe to go back to, uh, to the app. Now, if we tap done, it says short tap remaps the top button, long tap remaps the center button. So let's choose some apps. If I short tap flashlight, that will set it to a short press of the top button. So that's done. And let's say um, a long, if I tap it again, a long press is mapped to phone. And if I long tap, that will re, uh, reassign the central button here. And let's long tap and set it to where media toggle, uh, which is another one of my apps. Um, you can check a video for that if you look at my feed. Uh, and now we're done. So now if I short tap, on the top button, a little bit difficult to do while I'm in this video. It turns on the flashlight. If I long tap, it opens phone. And if I double press the center button, not quick enough there. That was where media toggle and it's just turned on the media on my phone. Let me turn it off again. Now, if you want to change the uh, or unset the uh, assigned buttons, you can go back in and you'll see the first menu item is unset. So if I want to restore, let's say, the Recents menu to the top button instead of the flashlight, just unset. And now if I short tap the top button, I'm back at the Recents menu. So you have a lot of control over um, which, uh, which apps to use with the hardware buttons, uh, which I hope will, uh, will be helpful. So that's about, it. that's about it for now. I hope you find this little utility app useful. I'll include a link to the Freepop website below this video where you can find Pixel Watch, Button Remapper, Where Installer 2, and all my other free apps. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.